Hi there guys, Mark here from Sawfly Concepts and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be looking at transparent textures. Now I've had a lot of requests recently asking me to explain transparent textures a little bit further. I have touched on alpha maps in the past and things like that, but today we're going to be looking at completely transparent textures. Textures that would have otherwise have absolutely no use anywhere apart from taxiway edge lights if you want to make them in the way I've told you to. Sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Okay, so in the past you might have noticed I said transparent textures quite a lot. I've got one here, which is transparenttexture.dds. Now, if I bring that into DXTBMP, link in the description, you'll notice that it's a very small texture. The alpha channel is completely black. Like, there is no. Like, if I click on preview transparency, it's just completely transparent. There, There is no. There, there's nothing there. Basically, it's just a black box with an alpha applied to it. Now, how would you make that black box and how would you apply an alpha? Well, you do what I've done. Just make a completely black box and apply an alpha to it. Now, let's go with transparent 5. It's the one I made today. And bring that into DXD BMP. You don't need any fancy equipment to do. You don't need Photoshop. You don't need GIMP. Anything like that. All you need is an image editing tool. And Windows comes with one of those as standard. It's called Microsoft Paint. It's actually been about 10 million years since I've opened mine. Microsoft Paint. Okay, here we are. We're in Microsoft Paint. We click on view. Um, not the screen from now on at home. Properties. Yeah, if you click on properties uh, in Windows 7 at least, you'll get the width and the height in pixels. Just change it to something that's like some conformative. So 512 by 512. Press enter. Completely square box. Click on your color, click on your fill, and there you go, black. Save as. Save as whatever you want to save it as, PNG, BMP, whatever. Let's just call it TP. Put it in pictures, why not? Okay, that's saved. Right, let's close the XT so you know I'm not playing around with you. Bring it back open, it's empty. Let's go to pictures, TP. Okay, that's the one I just saved. Click on Alpha, click on Black, uh, create channel from Black, press OK, that goes Black. File, save as, extended BMP. Now, there's two options for DXT1. You've got DXT1, no Alpha, and DXT1. You want to save it as DXT1. Second one down. Right, put it somewhere where you can find it, I'm just going to leave it in the same pictures folder, press save, and there you go. It's saved. Now I'm going to open DXT again just to show you it worked. Oh, wrong one. Right, there's the one we just saved. Drag it in. Black, black, preview transparency, see through. That's how you make a transparent texture. It's really quick, really easy, and you don't need to do anything fancy. You just need Microsoft Paint, DXT BMP, and there you go one transparent texture. You can, of course, save the alpha out in Photoshop and things like that, but there's not much point in doing that because it's just going to save you a lot of time if you do it this way around. Your workflow, uh, yeah, sure, you might might need an extra program or something like that, but it, it, it doesn't really waste any time. You can add a black alpha in Photoshop in a couple of seconds. You can do this in a couple of seconds. It, it's not adding any time to your workflow, really. So that's how you make a transparent texture. Now, how you would use it is completely up to you. Um, I like to use my transparent textures in lights and things like that. Um, I think I might have used them once or twice for um, testing and things like bump maps and whatnot. But um, yeah, that, that's how you can use your transparent textures. So if there's any more questions regarding them, Please comment under this video, and I will hopefully try and get back to you quickly. 
So guys, I'm Mark from Swordfly Concepts. Remember to like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Hit that notification icon to get notified every time I release a new video, which isn't on a regular basis, but it's, it's still fairly frequent compared to some other YouTubers. I wouldn't really call myself a YouTuber. I'd call myself someone who works and does YouTube on the side. God, I wish I could switch that around. I wish I could be someone who does YouTube and works on the side. Anywho, transparent textures sorted.